All right, guys, there's treasure out there. We're going to find it. Thank you, Alita, for sending me out this awesome product. G'day guys, welcome back to Lost Jewelry Recovery. I gotta say, it is great to be back in Australia. This is actually gonna be my first hunt in the ocean. I really can't wait to taste that salt water, guys. A leader adventure shoes. The leader in underwater shoes. I'm gonna be testing this product out today. I'm gonna be handing out a product code where you will receive a 20% discount on products sold, guys. Now, I'm absolutely sweating out here. I can't wait to get in the water. And there's treasure out there, guys. All right, just gear up and get out there. I'll see you in the water, guys. Cheers. Ha <laughs> ha.
ball. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, I'll get you on tight. Check that out, I can't believe he actually knows what it is. What, what's it called? <laughs> a fembo. That is awesome, mate. <laughs> you probably think that's a fembo. I'll get you on YouTube. There you go. How about that? A fembo. How did you know that was a fembo? That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm back from the hunt and check out this weather. The last couple of hours, the wind has just really picked up. It is absolutely howling out there now. And that is really good because a lot of sand is going to be shifted and it means more gold rings. Check out this little beauty. Yellow gold ring found in the rock pool. That was barely an inch under. My guess is this was actually a fresh drop, possibly over the last couple of days, maybe even the past week. Now I did hand out cards as well, lost to recovery cards. I spoke to the locals, anyone who knows a person who's lost a ring over the last couple of days, even the last couple of years, who knows. When I got back to the car, I couldn't believe it. I got a parking ticket. That is one of many struggles I have doing this professionally here in Sydney, especially around Bondi Beach. You try to find a car space at Bondi Beach at 12 in the afternoon, guys, it's not gonna happen. But when owners lose their rings, I make it top priority to get out there. Luckily, I do have support from the local community. I'm actually allowed in some places to park in garages, also in their driveways. I do know a couple of really nice people who give up their car spaces for me to perform recoveries. So those of you guys out there, you're watching my channel, thank you, it means the world to me. I can't believe how much the parking ticket was, guys. $263,000. No, sorry. $263. It might as well be $263,000 because I don't even have $263 to begin with anyway. But hey, that's one of many struggles I have. But I love this hobby, guys. I'm going to continue doing it. And maybe I can work out something with the local council. Maybe have a registered car space next to the lifeguard station. That will be a negotiation between myself and the local council. It would be great if I could get that approval. It will save me a lot of money, a lot of stress and it'll help me help a lot more people in the future as well. It's not my first parking ticket and I'm sure it's not going to be my last. It's not going to put a damper on my mood. It is what it is and unfortunately I did not actually get paid for this recovery too today as well. The owner could not actually afford to pay me so that's okay. This is a hobby before a business guys. That's how I run it. I'm not much of a businessman. <laughs> we found over $10 in cash today. That's not too bad considering I've actually hunted this area quite heavily in the past. We had five trash targets. It's more than a 50-50 ratio and for all you metal detectors out there you know that is a bloody good hunt. We ended the day on Bondi Beach where they had the largest kite festival here in Australia. That was an absolute awesome day. You see me do a little bit of the monkey magic out there on the bars on Bondi. 
I'm actually training for, that's right, Ninja Warrior. Channel 7, if you're watching this video, hit, hit, put me on the show, guys. 2019, I'm ready, I'm trained up. If any of you guys watching this video have got contacts for Channel 7, let them know. Michael Oliver is after Ninja Warrior 2019 Sydney this year. Don't forget to jump on our Patreon page as well, guys. It's up to date on what I'm doing today. Cheers. <laughs> They're falling off you, aren't they?